born from a royal house, fighting wars of resistance for 22 years, and in that period, the British changed commanders 22 times, being arrested for trespassing in your own land, in prison to rob an island. This was when the Tosa nation was fighting the British and Dutch invaders for a period of 100 years, from 1779 to 1879, called the Cape Frontier Wars. Royal and humble greetings to each and every one. On this video, we're going to be talking about Ngosi Chogumsobo Mfu Makoma. Makoma was born in 1798 in once now called Middle Drift, also known as Itlesi, in a small village called Tukwani in the Eastern Cape. His father is King Nika of the Khakhabe, the right hand house of the Tosa Kingdom. Although Makoma was the firstborn son, he didn't qualify to be king because his mother didn't come from a royal house. His mother was Notonto, a daughter of Nia from the Nosini clan. Therefore, his brother Sandile was heir to the throne. Sandile's mother was from Abatembu kingdom. There's not much that is recorded about Makoma's childhood, but he grew up in a time of conflict in South Africa between the Tosa people and the British colonial forces, as well as rivalries among other kingdoms. As Makoma grew up, he became a skilled military strategist and warrior, known for his leadership during the Tosa Wars, which were a series of conflicts between the Tosa and the British colonial forces. Even though there's not much recorded about Makoma's childhood, Makoma's legacy is primarily associated with leadership and resistance efforts during these wars. He grew up and became the commander of his father's forces. He also established his own community of people called Amachin. The first war that Makoma took part in was the Battle of Amalind that took place in 1818. The exact location of the battle is unknown. However, it's claimed to have happened between King Williamstown and East London. This was a civil war between Nika and his uncle Ndlambe. Ndlambe was the brother of King Mlau, who is the father of Nika. When King Mlau died, Nika was still too young, so his uncle Ndlambe was regent. Under his rule, the nation grew stronger, and when Nika was old enough to rule, Ndlambe refused to hand over the kingship to Nika. He also claimed that Nika was working with the Europeans and went to report this to King Insaka Kaut of the Taleka house. Now we all know how King Insa was when it came to the issue of land. So he took it upon himself to go and confront Nika. The Taleka met up with Amanjambe, a small community that Njambe had established during his time as acting king, together with Amantande, led by King Chachu and Amakunukwebe, led by King Kama. They crossed the Kei River and went to confront the Khakhabe King Nika. At this time, Makoma was about 21 years old, and this became his first battle, because he was the commander of his father's army. The outcomes of the battle were terrible, as many were killed and many were injured, especially on Nika's side which led him to appeal to the British for assistance. And soon after that war, the British captured the cattle from Ndlambe, who didn't have allies anymore. And this became the reason why Ngele was sent to Robben Island during the Battle of Grahamstown, trying to retrieve some of these cattle, but was unsuccessful. The second war that Makoma fought was in 1834 called Imfazweka Toto when he was fighting in defense of his younger brother Toto who got injured while protecting Kiali when he was being attacked by the British. Another war was the Hinsa War also known as the 7th Tosa War. Causes of the war include disputes over land, introduction of British administration in Tosa territory 
and Harry Smith demanded 50,000 cows and horses, and the king refused. The war had devastating outcomes for both sides, with significant loss of life and displacement of Tosa communities. Following that, it was the War of Mlanjin, or the Eighth Tosa War. This was when people were moved from their homes around Cat River and around Orange Free State and were told to pay a lot of taxes. This made some Tosa people very angry. A prophet named Mlanjin told them that they couldn't be hurt by the colonists' bullet. Many Tosa people left their homes and went to fight. That's how the name The War of Mlanjin comes about in 1850 to 1853. It is recorded that Makoma, who is the commander of the army, came with different fighting strategies on each war. Now please keep in mind that these are just the wars that Makoma participated in. If you want to know more about all the nine Cape Frontier Wars, which the Tosa won majority of, be sure to leave that in the comment section. Now it is also recorded that during the cattle killing of Nongawuz, Malkoma refused to kill his cattle. He continued to resist British authority, leading to his capture and imprisonment to Ropen Island. Malkoma's arrest was part of the broader colonial history of South Africa, marked by conflicts, land dispossession, and resistance by indigenous groups against colonial encroachment. His arrests were a consequence of his leadership in the resistance against British colonial rule and the struggle of the Tosa people during a turbulent period in their history. Makoma and his wife Kaiji were banished to Robben Island for 21 years. In 1869, they were released but was sent back to Robben Island in 1871 after being found guilty of incitement and for trespassing when he relocated back to his old land, this time without his wife. It's also recorded that Makoma had a total of 10 wives and Kaichi being his 10th wife. On September 1873, at the age of 75, Makoma died on Robin Island Causes of death are claimed to be old age combined with poor treatment. His body was buried on an unmarked grave and later repatriated to Indabagandot, a national monument in Eastern Cape. Having fought in three of nine frontier wars against land dispossession, Makoma became the most renowned Tosa leader and arguably one of Africa's greatest military leaders of the 19th century. Now that was Makoma, the great commander. Ah, Jomsobomvu. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Until the next one, thank you for watching.